What's going on there, folks? Good evening. It's the Earth Master here on this beautiful Thursday night, November 17th, 2022. It's about 9.23 p.m. California time out here along the West Coast. The latest quake shows a 1.2 out here in the California region. Looking at uh, the last 24 hours or so of earthquake activity shows a... Uh, Looks like a little ramping up around the Kermadec Trench area in New Zealand, also up in Alaska. Seen quite a bit of activity. Going to start up here in Alaska first. Seen a, a pretty good push of movement uh, just outside of Anchorage and also up into the uh, Fairbanks area. Got a pretty good swarm of activity kicking up here. Just outside of the Aurora Lodge, got about 15 earthquakes popping off earlier this evening and afternoon time frame over a well, about a four hour time span uh, largest magnitude appears to be a 4.1 in the mix here along with some other uh, smaller aftershocks or hopefully not foreshocks uh, scattered out and about here throughout the land um, far as specific uh, areas of interest as far as like a fault system goes there's some that do sit down south but uh uncertain exactly as to where uh, or which fault system this struck on there is a butte out here i'm not for sure exactly uh the name of it but a little mountain range that runs up here where this earthquake activity is occurring just west of the aurora lodge once again and uh further down south we've seen some activity also outside of anchorage with a 4.9 this one originally came in as a 5.1 downgraded uh, near the uh, point mckenzie alaska area somewhat of a moderate size earthquake uh, no further aftershock well let me double check here see what we got for aftershock activity it looks like there was a couple aftershocks here in the very small range very small microquake range uh, following that movement <clears throat> earlier today so definitely a noticeable increase here across the land, across uh, southern Alaska. And uh, this area does see quite a bit of earthquake activity, folks. It's a major subduction zone here in this area. And, uh, you know, you can pretty much follow the land here. Uh, it's been warping over lots and lots of time here. Uh, you can pretty much see the, uh, the push and the pull, so to speak, of the plate tectonics here. So... Um, just a little bit of in increasing activity here across Alaska. Again, we really haven't seen any, um, I've mentioned this before, we haven't really seen any major activity here along the Aleutian Trench in a little while, um, and more specifically over the last couple months or so. So might want to watch this area pretty closely here across the Alaska region. Into the Pacific Northwest, some movement outside of Mount Hood again, and uh, got a 3.4. Uh, this earthquake kicking off earlier uh, this morning out there around Smith's Ferry, Idaho area. Some movement uh, into Yellowstone as well. Looks like uh, a little bit of activity kicking up here across the region. Let's go ahead and check out the latest Yellowstone graph here. And uh, looks like definitely still some earthquake activity. Some very small microquakes here across the region of Yellowstone National Park. And some of that showing up there on the USGS map. California in general, a little spotty activity across the entire state. Uh, some movement outside of the Bodfish area. Lake Isabella sits up here to the northwest, getting in on some uh, little bit of earthquake activity. Some very small microquakes over the last couple hours. No major swarms, no major movement here uh, to take note of across the region. Just a uh, typical movement across the California area. Uh, Kind of seen a little bit of uptick uh, across the uh, Nevada region outside of the Pyramid Lake and also over here around uh, the Eureka area. A couple twos and some ones out there. Uh, overall general seismic activity though just slightly elevated across the region. Uh, Oklahoma looks like some movement uh, outside of the Calvin, Oklahoma area. 2.2 coming in within the last hour. And... Um, I know there's some fault systems that sit up here. I'm not for sure about uh, any fracking operations out here, but uh, we'll take a general look and see what we got. And sometimes it's hard to tell. <laughs> um, gosh, is that uh, 
Is that snow or, or uh, frost? It's kind of weird looking. Looks like some of this imagery may have been taken when there was a light dusting of snow out here. Uh, so it's kind of hard to see what's what. Uh, little pond over here. I don't think that's a wastewater injection well uh, system, but who knows? Either way, a little bit of activity kicking up around the uh, Oklahoma area. Down in Texas, earthquake country here. Uh, got some further movement kind of spreading out away from that earthquake swarming that we've seen over the past 24 hours where that uh, 5.4 struck in uh, Texas yesterday. A couple twos in the mix here. About 12 earthquakes over the last 24 hours. Still continuing uh, for earthquake activity there in that region. Uh, the Puerto Rico area, seeing a little bit of movement following that five-pointer that kicked off this morning. Seeing some uh, further activity, a 3.8 just to the northwest there around the Mona, uh, Mona Passage area, 40 kilometers deep. Uh, let's see what we got for the Big Island uh, movement. Uh, generally, it looks like confined here. Kind of kicking up a little bit around the Pahala area for a total tally of about 29 earthquakes. Uh, nothing within the last hour. Around the Kermadec Trench, Tonga Trench area, noticing uh, things kind of lighten up here, including a 4.6 here along the Kermadec Trench, the latest quake on this uh, area. Remember all the uh, earthquake activity here over the last week. A lot of deep movement and subsequent shallower activity around the Tonga Trench, uh, Fiji area, with only very minimal adjustment here across New Zealand. We could be starting to see a little sign of activity here along the Kermadec Trench, so watch that region pretty closely. Uh, further activity across Papua New Guinea and up around Japan as well. No major movement noted across the Kuril Kamchaka and over here. Uh, in this area of the world, the latest earthquake looks like a 4.4 uh, outside of the uh, Tajikistan, Tajikistan area. I uh, can't remember the exact pronunciation. This area of the world definitely uh, showed a little bit of activity today. So, All right, uh, let's check out the Tremor map. Going to make this just a short update. i uh, got about 218 epicenters of Tremor. Pretty big uptick along the uh, Oregon and Northern California area. We haven't really seen a whole lot of subsequent earthquake activity though. Uh, if we look over here at the map, some smaller earthquakes uh, on the coast range earlier this morning at 1.8, 22 kilometers deep. That could have something to do with the tremor that we're seeing a little bit further down dip of that area. Uh, so uh, Cascadia uh, continuing its trimmer. Uh, let's see here. What do we got for Solar Ham site? Looks like we've been elevated here to a G0 storm, uh, potentially G1 class storm, maybe. Come the 19th and the 20th time frame, where we're expecting some elevated conditions from a coronal hole that is currently facing us. Number 46 here, pretty massive. Uh, I guess this will be giving us a glancing blow come those dates uh, a little bit later on. We'll see how much of uh, an impact it does here. No major solar flaring activity uh, over the past 24 hours or so. We've seen one, well, upper sea, well, maybe a mid sea flare or so. Nothing over into the M uh, class, but uh, things kind of mellowing out there on the solar sunspot flare activity. 3147. And 3149 will be rotating in the view. I think we have a likelihood, possibly, let me double check this here, of seeing some activity from 3140, uh, this, this sunspot right here, looking a little bit more complex in its magnetic uh, field there. Might be something to watch from 3147. Uh, currently sits uh, at about 95% chance for C flare and flare at 15, and X flare around 1% uh, or so. So we'll watch those uh, couple sunspots as we progress into the um, weekend. All right, folks, going to make it a, just a quick update. I hope everyone enjoys uh, the rest of the uh, evening here. And uh, we'll keep uh, definitely keep an eye on things out here as uh, Kermadec Trench Area in New Zealand popping off with a lot of earthquakes there. I know the USGS didn't show it, but... Uh, Definitely seen a noticeable increase there around the North Island. Uh, things stirring up pretty uh, pretty crazily. So watch that area pretty closely. It's one of our 
zones uh, that could be seeing a larger earthquake here pretty soon. All right, guys, have a good night. Stay safe. We will chat you guys here pretty soon. Peace out.